Hi, I'm Shad Rafai, and today I'm here to talk about my experience and personal opinion about the new light came from Aperture Nova 300C. So today we are giving you our feedback based on our experience in studio and we have been using this light in the studio for the last one month and just to clarify this light is owned by us as Crash Studio it's been used for different scenarios different commercials and we have been tested to the maximum the reason why we are making a review for this product is that i believe personally that this product is going to be and the leading product in the next few months and i believe that this is not going to be the first and the last product from aperture i assume there's going to be another products coming up for to continue this product line and to fulfill all the requirements you need in your studios and we are going to talk about the abilities and flexibility about this light let's go so when you plan to buy this uh, light it comes with two options either you will take the option with a case hard case which is highly recommended this case is well made solid piece that you can keep your light storage correctly and you can go without that option and you will save about like 200 us dollar for the prices in uae markets you can check the link below i will leave uh, the contact where you purchase of the equipment of my studio i'm buying it from advanced media once you open the box you're gonna find the quick release handle which is very useful you can hang your light in different position different composition and this is where you can mount the control box the control box which is very well made and steel structure which is built to hold the beating of the heavy usage this came with the three main knobs and these knobs can you can control all your functions from your device and the main unit the main device the light you can feel the, the how solid it's it's been made and how strong along with the box you will find three kind of cables it will be the power cable the xlr cable which has come with two sides one short size if you want to keep your controller attached to the light or a longer six feet cable that you can attach to the, your C stand or away for your headlamp. So along with that, you can find even the safety cables. Very useful if you plan to hang overhead position. And considering this light is weighting about 10 kilograms, it's not that light. Better always to keep the safety in our consideration. As you can see now, this is the light. After we mount it in our C stand, consider that safe stand will hold this weight of this light. All what you can see here is now we connected the controller and the controller is mounted directly to the light, which is you can easily remove and you can hold it to the longer cable, you can keep it away. So now I will take you for the details of the menu controller for the light aperture here. So as you can see with the main controller, there's two main buttons where you will be diving into the menu. There's one button for a menu and one button for the light modes. Let's start with the menu. If you press the main button in the controller, you're going to find these functions. Sort it as DMX setting, fan mode, dimmer curves, frequency selection, Bluetooth reset, a fixture serial number, which is the device serial number where you can see it in the Bluetooth, update firmware, firmware version and the language so now i will take you one by one for each setting and what is it used for in dmx setting this is if you are using dmx mixer so you will have the ability to connect this device to a dmx to be honest i did not connect it to the dmx yet but it's very helpful function to be exist in the light so as of now uh, I use it without this option. In the fan mode, this device, yes, it's big, huge, and it has a built-in fan inside it, yet it's very quiet. So I didn't have any noticeable noise coming out from the fan. You have the option either to make it auto or to switch it on or off from inside this menu. So it's very useful to have it if you find that the fan is affecting your recording noise. So dimming curves, you have the option to choose curves that suit your mood or lighting scene. And in the menu, if you notice, you'll find frequency selection. 
And this is something that you cannot find in all lights or RGB lights, which is you can control the frequency level that match your camera flickering speed. So if you are shooting very high speed camera, so you are able to match the frequency to reduce the flickering in your camera. If you go to the Bluetooth reset, this is a very useful thing that you have to connect your mobile phone, Android or Apple to this device. It's easy to connect and fast and the application is very easy to use. After that, you'll find the fixture serial number. This is the serial number of your device. If you have more than one device connected to the app, so you can recognize it by this serial number. And here we can find firmware update. If there's any firmware update, you can easily update it from here while you are connected to the Wi-Fi and next window you can find the language where you can choose your language for the main menu which is here is only uh, chinese and english and then you can exit the menu button in the controller so now if you press the other button which is coming in the controller which is light mode this device came full loaded with all kind of mode that you ever think or you need in a scene i will go through it one by one from now first one we are going to talk about is the FX. The first mode you can find club light, where you can simulate a club light effect in the light. The light keep continuously changing light into different colors, which is simulate like a disco lights or nightclub lights. In the next effect, we will have the paparazzi. The paparazzi is simulating the flashes coming up from the photographers who are shooting a celebrity or cameras. Very useful for you if you want to simulate this scene in your video. In the other option, you can see the lightning. In this scenario, you can simulate a lightning and then you can control how many lightning continuously and the strength of the light and everything. In the other option, the TV. This TV effect will simulate light generated by a TV in your scene so you can control the warmness or the color temperature of the light. If there's any actor sitting in the coach, give the effect or the feeling that you are watching a TV. If we go to the next menu, you will find the candle. It will give you the option to choose the color temperature of the light, and this will give you the same effect of the candle. And goes on in the same menu, you can find option which is fire, and in fire as well, you can control the temperature and you can the, the strength and how much uh, flickering will be between the each one of them. The next effect we are talking about now is strobe where you can simulate strobe lights flashing and you can choose the numbers of flashes per second and you can control the color of that strobe as well. If you keep rolling down, you will find the explosion. Explosion, it will simulate like a bomb explosion. You can control the color, the, the number of the mini explosion and the major explosions happening in that effect. So keep scrolling. You're gonna find faulty pulp. This is extremely useful if you are taking a shot of uh, horror movies or something like that. It will be a useful effect. So in the same menu, if another option which is pulsing and you can control almost everything in terms of how many pulse and what kind of color you need in this pulse. And you have as well welding. You can control how many flashes and how many park will be and the list is cup car in the cup car even you can choose if it you if you want it red or blue or blue only or uh, red blue and white it's a multi-option so because each country it has different code or different kind of color lighting in their police car well prepared for this kind of effect after the cup car you can find the color chase and in color chase you can control the saturation of the light and you can continue controlling the pulse, how many speed of the light is changing between the color wheel of this light. And if you scroll one more time, you will find party lights. Party light is the mode where you can simulate a party or a disco light. The light will keep changing accordingly. So you can have a different mood or different light, which is, will be very useful if you have any of these requirements in your video. And Going down again, you're gonna find the fireworks. Fireworks simulate the fireworks. You can control the hue and the saturation and the color and the quantity of how many explosion color will be. We're still in the light mode and in the light mode, you can find the RGB mode. In the RGB mode, you can, you can find a way to control the light with the RGP separately, where you can control the amount of light of uh, red and green and blue. So we're playing with these figures and numbers, you can control the color to your scene. In the same menu, if we keep scrolling down, you're gonna find the X and Y option. Within the X and Y, you will be able to generate a more than a 1 billion color combination. And then you can get that wide range of colors of your own choice. If you scroll down in the menu, you will find the source after the X and Y. And here in the source, you will be able to find the different sources of known light in our life, like Tinkson light, halogen, and so on. 
the list is huge and I think it's covered all kind of industrial light known by human. One more light mode that you will have, the gel. You will be able to choose a very wild reprogrammed gel existing in the system and this will reduce your own time cost of buying the gel. That can help you to create a different mode in your scene. And here in the CC mode, you will be able to control your temperature of the light and the warmness of the light or the coals of the light. And you can go up to 10,000. And in the same lighting mode, you will find HSI, which is hue and saturation control, where you can separately control the hue value and the saturation in the light. As we say that this light is quite heavy and it's weight more than 10 kilogram, but still well built and well solid, but you don't have to uh, underestimate that stand or where you're gonna put it in a tripod. So I always recommend to safely mount it into a like, C-stand, which is gonna hold the weight of the 10 kilograms. And with the clip, you'll be able to mount it in everywhere. Actually, with the extended cable, you can keep it in the floor and you put the longer cable to mount the high in the ceiling or in a higher C-stand or you can mount the controller back of the light using the short cable as along with the box it's coming with a safety cable and where you can tie the light and secure that you are looking at it correctly. As our experience with this light and the previous version of the aperture light that we use in the studio, the 120D and the 300D, we connected them through the application and we used the iPad or the, the mobile application to control them. And this is no different with this light. It was amazing experience using our mobile phones to control the light in different locations. Some of cases that we hang the light high in the truss in the ceiling and it's not reachable after we build the set. So it make our life easy to control the light through the application. And one of the main features that I really love of this light and make my work much easier and faster, the color pickers. So through the application, you can pick the color from the surrounding color exists in the scene. And by using the application cameras, you can just look down subject and pick the color you want and immediately it will be transferred to the light to, to produce the same color you have been choosing through the application. This was working flawless and amazing. So don't forget that all the features that we talk about, which is exist in the controller, you can do it from your mobile phone or any smart device. Through that, you will have all the function and you can control was much easier interface. And in the major controller, you will have uh, preset buttons, four of them. So whatever you would like to program and keep it ready for the next usage, you just click and hold in the number you like and it will be stored for the next shoot. So this is my personal experience about this light. I have been using it for the last month and we have been tried to shoot with different scenarios, different occasions that we use this light incentively. So the quality of the light and the flexibility that it gave us, a limited option of uh, lighting our scenes. Not to forget to mention that the light is came with an optional lighting box with a grid. One of the good benefits that this light can give you a light of 120 degree you can narrow this light and you make it more focused in an area with a soft book you have to buy it extra into this light you will be finding yourself comparing the other product in the market and the other names which is providing a high quality built rgb light comparing the price with the quality that this light is providing it will make it an easy choice for you that you are going to go for this light with the price tag that it has it's really priceless i'm giving you this my personal opinion about it after buying a couple of these lights for requirement in the studio for more information about this light i will leave you the link call the supplier in uae and uh, we will be more than happy to welcome you in Karaj studio if you like to have closer look and experience these lights in our studio in dubai thank you for viewing this video and hopefully that adding some information for you and if you have any question please communicate with me and send me your comments i will reply to you as soon as possible and if you like to have more videos like reviews cameras or any product that you are having doubt about it before you make a decision of purchasing this please communicate with me i am shad rifai from karaj studio thank you and see you again Limitate the spill of the light.